Saint Maximin posts good morning meme ahead of Newcastle takeover. Newcastle winger Alan Saint Maximin has hinted his delight about news that the club is set to be taken over by the Saudi state after posting a video of a man laughing on social media. The Frenchman uploaded a clip of the person screaming good morning before bursting into a fit of laughter amid news that owner Mike Ashley's reign is finally set to come to an end after 14 years, with the club able to dream of lucrative signings and a possible run in Europe should the £300 million deal be completed. Sportsmail understands the acquisition could be announced as early as Thursday morning after the Gulf state settled a piracy row with the Premier League as Ashley spent most of Wednesday night ironing out the final terms. The new owners are ready to get straight to work as soon as the deal is finalized. Gleeful Newcastle fans responded to St. Maximin's post hoping it was a sign of confirmation that the deal was finished, while another jokingly asked him to convince Kylian Mbappé to join the club. One said, this is the only confirmation I needed. We're rich, and another wrote, Alan FaceTime your mate Mbappé and show him our bridges. One user hoped that the takeover news might persuade the player to commit his future to Tyneside, writing, Alan Ladd. Does this mean we've got your for life? While another responded, first job, tie St. Max to a 20-year deal. St. Maximin is in his third season at St. James Park having joined from Nice in 2019 and has quickly become one of the club's key players and a hit with the fans. Supporters will now be awaiting official confirmation of the Saudi takeover deal, which looked dead in the water after it was abandoned in 2020. The consortium, led by Saudi's public investment fund, PIF, and including Amanda Staveley and the Rubin brothers, were unable to prove separation between themselves and the Saudi state, headed by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. But the Premier League have now been reassured that the state are not set to be directly involved in the day-to-day -day running of the club, while the lifting of a four-year ban on the